Now, moving on, last Thursday marked the launch of a brand new exhibition in London. It's a collaborative project comprising of, comprising of films about the lives of 50 Bangladeshi women and their journeys to London. That's right. Islam Channel's Sadia Chaudhry went along to the launch. Dui Desho Golpo translates to a tale of two countries. And at this exhibition at London's Rich Mix Theatre, it's all about telling two stories. A series of 50 short films are being shown here, each of them telling a different migration experience of East London's Bangladeshi community. Sashna Ali is one of the organisers who says the best way to benefit from immigration is through successful integration. We have ladies talking about um, how they want to improve their English, how frustrated they feel when they're in the community, how lost they felt when they came here. Um, but they move on to talk about how um, socialising, uh, going to ESOL classes and spending time, you know, walking around, familiarising themselves, it's just made them feel a lot more settled. As well as the films, the display contains elements of folk culture that is significant to the women and their lives from songs and poems to embroidery and other crafts. Also on display here at the exhibition is this imaginative sari, which has been embroidered by the women themselves with images that represent each of their individual stories of how they came to Britain. The sari captures that perception on Bangladesh and on the UK um, because uh, Bangladesh will be always in their hearts and part of them. And there is also bits that represent their life in the UK now. So it's their integration path uh, coming up onto a sari. The exhibition is free and runs until the end of this month. Well, fascinating. Joining us in the studio, mm. two of its organizers. Welcome, Imogen Butler Cole and Nuto Khan. Salam alaikum. Nice to have you very on the show. Welcome. Now, yeah. it's focusing just specifically on Bangladeshi women. Why, why Bangladeshi women? Um, I mean, East London mm, is, a, is a real mix. <laughs> it's basically dictated by the funding that we receive from the European Integration Fund. So it's basically working with 75 women for a whole year on different um, outputs. And it's called the integration project that we do. Um, and so that's what it is. That's why it's for Bangladeshi women. Now, you're from two separate organisations, aren't you? Because you're from the... Jagonari. Jagonari, which means, as we learn, rise up, up women. women. Yeah, so you're from Jagonari, and you're from the What Works. That's right. So how did you two come together on this project? Um, we had met, because I do a lot of work with Bangladeshi women and Bangladeshi people in general in the London's East End, and I had actually done a show at the nursery of Jagonari um, a year ago. I've got a show in Bangla in English for little children. It's an educational project. So I had done that there, and I met them, and we began talking about the other work that was possible. And so when they were running this DVD project as part of the integration project, they asked me to implement it, and so that's what so I did. Did you doing. communicate in Bangla? Yeah. Because you speak Bangla. Speak. <laughs> Bangladeshi, don't you? Is it called Bangladeshi or Bengali or Bangla? Bangla. It's called Bangla. Officially, Bangla. people refer to it as Bengali, but correctly, Bengali actually means the people. I mean, you spent Bangladesh. a couple of years out there. That's right, yeah. Now, what, so what was it like trying to get the women to speak about their experiences? Um, it's a difficult experience, but because it's nearer to the end of the project, we started in March, we are with the ladies from September. So we wean them into the whole process. So they're a lot more comfortable, and it really helps that they have someone who really speaks the language as well. Mm. And that's Imogen, obviously. Imogen and other yeah. workers. And what, what, what kind of stories are we looking at here? I mean, were the stories a struggle? Because they, they seem to look quite happy, all of them. They did, didn't they? There are. There are also stories of um, struggle. But I think on the whole, mm. I think it's very a positive message mm. of the integration, of how they weave their way into a new society. So there's a lot of positivity there. Um, a lot of the ladies um, in the exhibition about at least sort of 16 of them, they've only been here less than two years. So they're very new into their migration. Ha have the stories also given you food for thought about some of the challenges that they might be facing? Yeah, definitely. I think for a lot of them, some of the, the more moving stuff is when they talk about missing home and they miss their families and mm. they miss a lot of the things that they have I around mean, East them. London, you can't miss home, surely. I don't know. Like, it's a very different kind of life. It's, it's like mini cool. Bangladesh, isn't it, really? Know, but, but being serious, I they think... They come from the country, they miss the, the green, they yeah. miss, you know, the... the a space to they play. want to move to Glasgow or Scotland, <laughs> you know, Ireland maybe. But I think being serious, it's, it's sometimes it's hard for us to understand just how difficult it is for people yeah. to up 
and leave everything they Absolutely. know and come to a completely foreign culture. I mean, we've had people on the show before talking about, mm. you know, particularly actually Bengali women in, in the East End of London who have absolutely no idea about what support services are available out there. And that's there. why this project is so brilliant, because mm. it's there to help them learn English, to help them also just about how to get around, how do mm. you travel, you know, mm. what services are available to you, doctor's appointments, all that kind of thing. And then this project, I think, the DVD project, which we've, we've made the films for, um, really gives them a sense of them, their own self. And we spent a lot of time focusing on their goals and their ambitions. And for most of them, it's to learn better English and to be able to get a job and to become independent. Well, Did Razia Aman bring your bell? Yes. Well, well we've, we've got, got a little her film. story, actually, Great. just we to give an idea of what the stories were like. Yeah. <laughs> Mate mate sunar dan, gase gase pakir gan, tal superir semol sari, Bangladesh amar bari. Oh, I love it. That's so beautiful. Yeah, did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Wow. I learn to many many English speaking. I want. Uh, uh, Confidently, English speaking, um, and I want uh, um, to <laughs> talk about another uh, uh, man, woman, uh, English speak, neighbor, uh, confidently, English speak. Well, I mean, that's a brilliant example of the, of the type of work that's being done with the project. Are you finding that having these women involved in, in the filming itself, so you've selected these 50 women to highlight the plight of Bengali women in general, but that this actual activity is, the, is in itself opening doors to them mm -hmm. and is, is breaking down barriers and helping them to integrate? Absolutely. We did um, <coughs> a feedback with all of the women who've been involved in the project and it was really overwhelmingly positive about, do you feel more confident now? Do you feel that you mm -hmm. were able to express yourself? And have you learned about yourself? Do you feel more confident in learning and all this kind of thing? And there was really overwhelming um, positive responses to it, yeah. So that I think they do feel more confident and, and yeah like I was saying with a sense of self and their own goals and how they individually want to live their lives here in London. Mm. And one of the things um, Imogen did was look at all the skills that they come with already because sometimes they'll come here and they'll feel that they've got to relearn everything mm. but if you look at some of the artistry work that they've mm. done it's amazing and these are things that here we really appreciate so again looking at attribute skills that they can bring and enhance and sort of put and stamp on, on yeah. the host country really. How can uh, people go along and what, what will they expect? Is it a set of TV screens? What, what is it? Yeah, so the exhibition, we saw a little bit of footage of it there, is um, it has the sari that they embroidered together. It has a wall of artwork that they've created, pictures of the women, some of the um, writings about their memories and everything. And then two um, TV screens with headphones that you can listen in, and there are about 20 of the films going on there. And it's at Rich Mix, which is in on Bethnal Green Road. Mm. Um, and it's on until the 30th, which is next Sunday. So all of this week it's on, and it's in the lower gallery. You can go there. What's next for the women? What's going to happen next, do you think? Well, we continue. We do the same thing again next year with a bit of a... We challenge ourselves a bit more, bit more but it's a new, whole new um, group of women that we'll have again next year. So Fantastic. Now, if people want to get in touch, because we do know they've got many viewers in that part of town, people who might be looking for support, how do they get in touch with both of your organisations, with yourself, first of all? So it's www.jaganari.org.uk. Um, that's the best place to find us, really. OK, and yourself? And the whatworks.org is my theatre company.